who I am. This is the annoying question that is so difficult for us to solve. My name is Aaron, a teenager and high school student who wants to discover who is he. I was born on November 15 in a Madrid hospital called La Paz. Since childhood, I have been a very sociable kid. I haven't had any problem communicating with other children. My first friend, I did it in the nursery. We met badly. Our first contact was a fight. I don't know how we will do it, but now we are the best friends. I have always liked to bury. The routine bores me. Over time, I have been changing hobbies. I have been trying several sports, but they all tired me. I have found two that have marked me. The first one is judo, a martial art that will always be part of me. This was when I met my master, the one who taught me the art of judo and the values it brought with it. For him, I was the favorite student. I was the first of his students to reach the black belt. The second sport that has given me the most has been basketball, a sport that taught me the meaning of team and companionship. When I was six years old, I started to enter to the world of the music. I started in a children's joy in elementary school, in which in the fourth year, we managed to sing a cantata called Carmina Burana in a great opera stage in Madrid. At the beginning of high school, my interest in music continued to grow. I began to play drums in a rock band of which I continued to be part of. This experience as a drummer has led me to the composition of lyrics and to play the guitar. At age 14, I met the theater, an art that has helped me to free myself and improve my oral expression. Thanks to the theater, I have met wonderful actors with whom I have recorded some shorts. These actors have told me a lot of what I know about theater. The following year, I met my current best friends, with whom I spend most of the time. With them, I learn to question things, to be more critical and to debate. Apart, I passed with them probably the best trip of my life. We went to Italy. All these people who have influenced my life, now and always, will be part of me, because I am as I am thanks to them. There are two factors that have influenced me as I am. The people that have given me knowledge and values, and the place where I grew up. Friendship for friends and family helps you keep moving forward. People need the support of our loved ones. So for me, friendship is a primary value. All these friendships, which have been part of my life, were authentic. One of the most important values for me is authenticity. Originality, being yourself, is the most important to define your identity. What has led me to authenticity, to be as I am, is the curiosity. This curiosity, for me, is another very important value because it makes you know yourself better. Honestly, justice is the most difficult value to acquire. But over time, I have seen that what humans are looking for is justice. So I think that justice is a value that defines everyone. The second factor that has influenced me is my place of origin. I think this is a great influence for people. Depending on how he was raised, the traditions or costumes that he has adopted, and the values that these conditions have brought him, the person will be one way or another. I'm completely sure that if I had been born in another country, such as Netherlands or Nigeria, my life and my values were very different from what I am now. If I had been born in Netherlands, although we have different costumes, my life would not be so different, since both countries have similar economic and social situation. However, if I had raised in Nigeria, my life and I 
would be very different from what we are now. There, perhaps he would not even have survived a childhood, because life expectancy and infant mortality are much lower. It is likely that my life would be much harder, because the economy and income in the country are lower. But I suppose that my most essential values will continue to be sustained.